Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my latest music video. I think my, is my head in the frame? Yes. Sorry. Okay. It is. I'm going to sit back a little bit. Thank you so much for watching my latest music video for Ugwe Ascends, which in Chinese means, uh, well, Ugwe means turtle, so turtle ascends, from Kung Fu Panda, one of my favorite movie series, one of my favorite movies. Um, it's a beautiful theme that was written by Hans Zimmer and John Powell. I actually shot this video uh, with the amazing DP Joel Moody, who shoots most of my videos, and we went down to San Diego which is where I grew up, uh, in Poway, which is a small city uh, on the outskirts of San Diego. And my dad came and helped and he was holding the reflector, it's like the bouncy board that bounces the light off the sun and onto your face, hopefully. Uh, and he was having a lot of fun with it and he started calling himself, I am the master of the light. So thank you dad for helping me uh, <laughs> like the video. And I wanted to say a very special thank you as always to my wonderful patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for making it possible for me to make videos as often as I try to do and as always you can find me on YouTube on Facebook on Instagram so thank you thank you so much to everyone who makes this possible I really appreciate it uh, and I'll see you soon bye
Hello everybody, welcome to the November 2022 graduation ceremony of Independent College. My name is Neve Halpenny, Head of Student Services, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies today. Aina Urika, Aina Ushla, Falcha Rov, Egregania Sha, in a mumfer, Colin T, Nashunta, August Ider Nashunta, in a mock lane on Kalashta Sha. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this meeting at which national and international awards will be conferred on the students of this college. Our guests on the platform include Paura Corrigan, President of Independent College, Professor Andrew Deegan, Registrar, Mr. Mark Byrne, Dean, Dr. Paula Kenny, Head of Quality Assurance and Enhancement, Dr. Marion Palmer, Chairperson of Academic Council, Dr. Bill Seary, Chairperson of Research and Ethics, and lecturers from our Faculty of Business, Mr. Lucas Cardoza and Mr. Kieran Melvin. This is a very important day for the college, and we are delighted to have you all in attendance to share in the celebration. Many of you have traveled long distances to be with us here today, which represents the international culture of our students, which the college is very proud to be associated with. I now call upon our president, Mr. Paura Corrigan, to perform the presidential welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, graduands, colleagues, it is my pleasure to speak to you today on the occasion of the Independent College 2022 Winter Graduation Ceremony. This is our 16th annual graduation ceremony and it marks the most special day in the college's academic year. It is truly an honor to be with you all today. The graduation ceremony is usually seen as the end point of your time in the college. It is a culmination of all the hard work, the assignments, the projects, the studying for the exams, and the many rich experiences you have had during your studies on your course. For some of you, it has been many years in the making, and I know that it has required enormous sacrifice and hard work to get to where you are today. But you have succeeded. You have arrived at this joyous point in your time with the college. This is the day when you can celebrate success with yourself and your loved ones. The parchment you receive today is a tangible recognition of the efforts you have put in to bring you to this point. I say this from personal experience. It is something you will look at many times in your life and it will remind you of how you have prevailed and succeeded and how the world of opportunity is now opening up for you in the months and the years ahead. For those of you who have come to our shores, who have made Ireland their home, I extend a particular word of congratulations. Ireland's history is full of our emigrant stories. Every family in this country has experiences of family members leaving Ireland to find a better life in the four corners of the world. The challenges of leaving your homeland, moving to another country, sometimes another continent, are never to be underestimated. It involves leaving your support network, taking a brave step into another world to find a new life and to achieve new goals. Today, you can sit back, look at yourself and say, I did it. We salute you for this amazing achievement. As you graduate today, you enter a world which is constantly changing and evolving. Some of you started your studies with us in 2019, and some before, and we all know how things have changed in the intervening period. We never imagined what this period would bring and how it would impact on how you complete your studies. You are to be commended for adjusting to the new reality we all faced and persevering to complete your chosen course. While this was extremely difficult at times, the fact that you are here today shows your resilience and determination to succeed no matter what life throws at you. If you can get through this, you can get through anything in the future. As we look forward, there are many opportunities for you in the world in whatever area you choose to go into. My advice to you would be to do something you are passionate about and do it well. Every one of you has the opportunity to be successful. It will ultimately come down to you, to the efforts you make, and how you dedicate your time to making your chosen goals happen. 
We hope that when you make it, and we know that you will, that you will remember the small part we played in helping you to get there. You will forever be part of the Independent College family, and we hope that you stay in touch in the months and the years ahead. Finally, I would like to thank my colleagues who have worked tirelessly to help you achieve today's success. To our academic team, led by our Chair of Academic Council, our Registrar, Dean, Heads of Department, our lecturing team, all of our colleagues providing our student services, and to all of our external colleagues, I say a huge thank you. I wish you well for the time ahead, and I look forward to following your many journeys in the years to come. Thank you all very, very much. President, honoured and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, students. It is my privilege and great pleasure to open our Independent College and QQI Awards Ceremony. President, <clears throat> I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the Today FM School of Radio and who are worthy of the Independent College Award of Diploma in Radio Production and Podcasting and I would request you to present their parchments to them. Edwina Huerti, in absentia. Jessica Mariaga, in absentia. Katie Boyle, in absentia. Kyle Duffy, in, ex in absentia. Neil Bri Briodi, in absentia. Ronan O'Connor in absentia, Tomas Byrne in absentia, Tony Clayton Lee in absentia. And that concludes the candidates in radio production and podcasting. President, I present to you the following graduate candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Law and who are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award of Certificate in Public Service Pensions Management, and I would request you to present their parchments to them. Dean Moore. Mm. Denise Keane. <clears throat> Niall Cook. Anya O'Reilly in absentia. Brendan O'Leary in absentia. Cecilia McAllister in absentia. Kira Cremens in absentia. Kira Doyle in absentia. Declan O'Connell in absentia. Deirdre O'Neill in absentia. Fergal Carty in absentia. Hannah Stewart in absentia. Niall Quinn in absentia. Neve Williams in absentia. Neve McGinty in absentia. Excuse me. 
Paul Murphy in absentia. Sarah Hewitt in absentia. Stephen Blake in absentia. Stephen Warren in absentia. Teresa Levy in absentia. Thomas Gavin in absentia. Tomas Griffin. Tracer Carroll in absentia. <clears throat> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the School of Law and who are worthy of the Independent College Award of Certificate in Professional Legal Studies. And I would present to you, and I would request you to present their parchments to them. Isabella dos Santos. <laughs> Caroline Hayes. Molly Hunt. <laughs> Caroline Pisa. In, abs in absentia. <laughs> Nicola Comong. In absentia. Nicola Cummins. In absentia. Christine Druitt in absentia. Jody Phillips in absentia. Barbara Figurska in absentia. Jessica Tully in absentia. Rebecca Monaghan Wade in absentia. Sarah Munnelly in absentia. Julie Mahan in absentia. Matthew McKenna in absentia. And that concludes the candidates in the Diploma in Professional Legal Studies. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the School of Law and who are worthy of the Independent College Award of Diploma in Professional Le Legal Studies. Kira Cornelia in absentia. Edward John Allen in absentia. Kira McCormack in absentia. Rachel Lunny in absentia. Sorry, Rachel. 
<clears throat> Sharon Downey in absentia. Aoife Corrigan. Denise Marie Byrne. Lindsay Clear. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the School of Law and who are worthy of the Independent College Award of Diploma in Mediation, Negotiation and Dispute Resolution. Dolores Killian. Donna Farrell. <laughs> Charlotte Mazmayan, in absentia. Jennifer Dick, in absentia. Kelly Rennick, in absentia. Siobhan Malloy, in absentia. Svetlana Vladovich, in absentia. And that concludes the candidates in that group. All right. <clears throat> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the School of Business and who are worthy of the Independent College Award of Certificate in Common Business Functions. And I would request you to pre present their parchments to them. Leticia Kelly Macedo. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Business and who are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, and I would request you to present their parchments to them. Alana Martins Hayes. Alini Vega Oliveira. Yeah. Alini Vega Oliveira. Oh, sorry, we just done that. Anderson Seipel Cardin Santos. Ariana da Silva Simas. <laughs> Bianca Natali Tamez Cardenas. <laughs> Diana Andrade Andrade Sequeira Lima. Davi Fernando da Silva. Yeah. 
Evelyn Salas Pacheco. Chris Lane, no? Yeah. Mm. Chris Lane Rodriguez da Silva. Fabiana Camargo Goulart. Fiamma Pereira Sequeira. <laughs> Gustavo de Souza. <laughs> Hannah Bezerra Rocha. Janine Ribeiro Coilha de Lima. <laughs> Jose Augusto dos Santos Jr. Jacqueline Pereira da Silva. <laughs> Jessica Cavalcante Espinola. In absentia. <laughs> Kellen de Salis. Lara Amaral. <laughs> Larissa Vieira Rocha. <laughs> Lea Varan. Lena Bayer. <laughs> Lizian Leal Marcus. <laughs> Ludmila Suarez Farias. Louise Albuquerque. <laughs> Magdalena Stein. Mariana Maciel Lago. Priscilla Silva de Oliveira. Thank you. <clears throat> Richard Elia Elias Correja. Rocio Fleitas Ortelado. <laughs> J. 
Stephanie Elizabeth Anaya Rokas. Sulani Lali. Tabata Figueira de Oliveira. <laughs> Tiago Guionzo de Oliveira. <laughs> Valdenea Souza Miranda. <laughs> Vanessa Maria Nascimento de Franco. Jamara Galan. <laughs> Jessica Cavalcante Espindola in absentia. Lucas Henrique Santos Castro in absentia. Juliana Cristina dos Santos Candido in absentia. <laughs> Leticia Sabrina dos Santos in absentia. Atman Bandara in absentia. Natalia Ribeiro in absentia. Bacani Tomas Fonseca in absentia. Tariq Mahmoud in absentia. Ties Andrade in absentia. And that completes the candidates in that bracket. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses at the School of Business and who are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award a Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Finance, and I would request you to present their parchments to them. Mm. Andre Wegner da Silva. In absentia. These are bands. These are bands. <clears throat> we'll go into marketing for the moment while we get the other names organized. Um, President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Business and who are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award of Bachelor of Arts in Marketing. And I would request you to present their parchments to them. Ana Cassia Cardoso Brasileiro. <laughs> Andre Aguirre Sanchez. <laughs> Andre Brito. Barbara Cristine Gomez Santos. Yeah. 
Brenda Denise Montemayor Rodriguez. Keo Moraes. Carlos Eduardo Correa da Silva. Cristiane Silva. Daniela Lopez Pereira. Danilo Calisario Cochi Cochi. Eric William Santa Lestroso. Esterlina Rodriguez Dos Santos. Fabian Nicolas Monet Ecarte. <laughs> Fernanda Masionila de Moraes. Lauco Mendonca. <laughs> Joe Paula Nunes de Lima. <laughs> Karen Veranice Lopez Gonzalez. Leticia Machada Gomez. <laughs> Karina Silva. <laughs> Liziane Freitas. Morgana Baera. <laughs> Nata Veloso. Nayara Fernanda de Oliveira Malta. <laughs> Paloma Amorim de Miranda Carvalho. Rebecca Fehayara Ferreira. <laughs> Rocio Cruz Hasember. <laughs> Rodrigo Souza.
Sergio Andres Encinas Orias. Tayan Rocha Cardoso Elias. Ira Gomez Marrera. Isabelli Moreira in absentia. Tice Martins in absentia. Bamsrag Chagarav Batsuran in absentia. Deborah Martins in absentia. Jacqueline Morales de Oliveira. In absentia. Are they not coming up? Yeah. Are they supposed They're to be? Bound. They're bound. Yes, but that's why I'm in bound. Um, just a bit of confusion here. I'll just read these graduands again. Some of whom may be here. Sergio Andres Encinas Ore Arias. No. Tayan Rocha Cardoso Elias. Yara Gomez Marrera. Deborah Martins. Sorry, just uh, confirm. Ba? Ba, okay. Yeah, ba. Okay. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Business and are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award of Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Finance. Andre Wegner da Silva. Bans Rag Charagav Batsuran. <laughs> Deborah Martens. <laughs> Jacqueline Morales de Oliveira. Ladian Casimiro Rosa. <laughs> Marcus Vinicius Souza Silva. Maria Aparecida de Oliveira. <laughs> Mr.
Nadazi Vei Namora Ziki. Ralph Emerson Dacklis. <laughs> Rubens Targino da Silva. Tatiane Menezes. <laughs> Vittoria Montero de Lima. And that completes the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Finance. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Law and who are worthy of the Quality and Qualifications Ireland Award of Master of Arts in Dispute Resolution. And I, I, would, I would request you to present their parchments to them. Antonio D. Miranda, Jr. <laughs> Carlos Alberto Jimenez Vasquez. <laughs> Carolina de Guadalupe Almeida Sen. Caesar Augustin Suro Trinidad. <laughs> Cynthia Nayan Gomez da Silva. Cynthia Mariela Rene Avalo Samudio. <laughs> Daniela Ivana Gali Matiuada. J.C. Del Carmen Laria Jimenez. <laughs> Diego Aparecido Dos Santos. Edilma Carvalho. Enoki Garcia Moreira. <laughs> Gabriela Velasco Fabela. <laughs> Gabriela Freitas de Oliveira. Gabriela de Oliveira. Yeah. 
Iona Andrade de Souza. Isadora Silva Aroco. <laughs> Jamile Das Virgin de Jesu. <laughs> Jeanette Castro Ortega. Janice Cavalcante. <laughs> Joyce Lambert. <laughs> Larissa Beatrice Ferreira. Luisa Albuquerque Sousa Ramos. <laughs> Marcela Otavio Guedes. <laughs> Marissa Vasconcelos Correa. Maria Jacqueline Fiosa. <laughs> Mariana Francisco Dos Santos. Mariana Crescencio de Castro Machado. <laughs> Mariana Inishi Gomez Cabori. Patricia Aparecida de Souza. <laughs> Simone Leao Lima Piruchetti. Pier Stephanie, Stephanie de Mesquita Sales. No, Stephanie, in absentia. Tasia Juliana Aroco Fiusa. Stephanie de Mesquita Salas. <laughs> Tatiana dos Santos Barea. <laughs> Theus Resende Cardoso.
Uriria Herrera Felipe. Zelma Bezerra Souza. Nayeli Betancourt Sanchez. <laughs> Clayton Suarez Abranchez in absentia. Elisa Navarro in absentia. Irina Alexinko in absentia. Jesse Lorenzo in absentia. Jose Mar Gonzalez Gomez in absentia. Karen Marisole Laiva Vega in absentia. Marley Aparecida Takashi in absentia. Mikhail Bayukishiev, in absentia. Paula Cardosa Costa, in absentia. Pedro Aurelio Tujano Ramirez, in absentia. Renan Pacheco de Pino, in absentia. Risamar Pereira de Souza, in absentia. Rodolfo Eduardo Silva in absentia. Sueli Pereira Martins in absentia. And that concludes the candidates for this ceremony. Well done to everybody on collecting their certificates. The hard part is now over. Well done once more. So it's now time for the presentation of student prizes in the college in recognition of outstanding performance in the academic year in the primary faculties of the college. I call upon our president and our dean to present the Barry Halton Award. I'm very pleased to announce that the Barry Halton Award goes to Beatrice Bonino de Sina. Maybe she's watching online. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll call upon our Head of Quality Assurance and Enhancement, Dr. Paula Kenny and our President, Mr. Porrick Horrigan, on behalf of Dr. Bill Seary, to present the Bill Seary Award for Excellence in Research. I am very pleased to announce that the Bill Seary Award for Excellence in Research goes to Daniela Ivana Gali Matatunda. Have I got that right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Daniela. Um, finally, I'd like to call upon the Dean of Independent College, Mr. Mark Byrne, and the College President, Mr. Paul Corrigan, to present the President's Award. I'm very pleased to announce that the President's Award goes, goes to Nadazavi Nomor Ziki. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Moving on, we will now have our student speakers. Our first speaker is a graduate from a Master's in Dispute Resolution program. This person was not only a student, but a classmate of mine. Not only did I support him in my role at the college, but he also supported me throughout my Master's. A friend and a colleague, he was there to lend a helping hand to all his classmates whenever they needed. Although it wasn't easy, he always did it with a smile on his face. I can't wait to see what he does next. Please welcome to the stage, Jonas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, good afternoon, everybody. I would like to welcome everybody here in this room today, my classmates, which I couldn't see all the faces, but when I hear, listening all the names, and I'm so happy everybody made it. So I would like to just ask everybody, applause for everybody here. So I welcome to the lecturers and everyone who has participated organizing this event today for us. A very warm welcome to our beloved, my mom just arrived today, this morning, from Brazil. <laughs> so I think it's not just us here today who is graduating, but our beloveds, I think, made the effort with us, supporting us. So I will start this speech with a George Paul Lem quote a very successful Brazilian business, businessman, where he says, to have a big dream requires the same effort as having a small dream. So I think everybody here has the big dream and today's come true. So we have dreamed big and one more dream comes true and new and important chapter begins in our lives. And many of us in this room today can tell we have had many new beginnings since we moved to Ireland. I was so nervous when Niamh invited me to do this speech because we mind the first time we had the, the first mediation section, which was 22 minutes. When she said 80 minutes, I was freaking out. But here we are celebrating and we made it. So not take any credit away from our the deserving lectures in this room, but in my opinion, I had one angel in the, my first uh, mediation section was Orla. So she actually, for me, was important role because she just like made us believe in ourselves and it could made it 22 minutes and the next was 24. Sometimes during the course, we had a lot of rough moments. Since the beginning, we were trying to adapt to the new normal. After a long lockdown period, our lives are in Ireland never have been easy, and we could not expect anything different for our master's degree, and I believe in any other course as well. From the moment I was invited, I tried to figure out what I could say here today because we can see a lot of negative things 
come in their screens and they hate social, uh, social medias, COVID, family away. So, and I try just like be brief about our own fights and wars. As a representative senator, I heard from some of my colleagues who were about to give up. They have shared their pain and concern about not believing that they were capable of finishing our course. And their pain was my pain also. We have been in the dark many times, but thank God, again, I had Elisa Navarro, which was uh, another senator. Unfortunately, she is not here. She's back in Brazil with her father. But I, thank, I am so grateful to her. We have been supporting each other, and I think everybody here, even we had hybrid classes, some of us have different groups which each one could support each other and be the family for this tough moment. Behind a senator hole, we have tried to keep everyone stimulated even when we weren't so stimulated ourselves. And I would like to ask everybody to give a round of applause to this fabulous woman, Elisa, who has been a great addition to my life and today I'm very happy to say that we're we are and we can see our classmates join and sitting here in this chair and wearing the same dress I'm dressing here today. So at, at, at some point along our course, we all caught ourselves reflecting that we wouldn't be able to be here today or that we weren't capable enough to get here. And that's okay, it's okay not to feel okay. That's the effect of process of change and changes are not always an easy process to digest. But changes are necessary. Here we are getting the change to be reunited and I can tell the students will not end after this celebration today. Probably most of you and say Johnny is crazy. I have just finished master. Mark just was telling me was my second graduation, actually third. So don't ask my age. So it's my third graduation. <laughs> so uh, and those are fighting and conflicting with ourselves that will generate feelings of anxiety, to the fear of the unknown, of going down a possibly new path the fear of making mistakes, these feelings are common, and we all have had this butterfly in our stomachs. At different stages in our life, both prof professionally and personally, and we will continue ha to have them while we're here. We will be briefing this air, and it is the grace, it is the fun of the life. This graduation represents a big step as a professional achievement even for those who thought they wouldn't be able to cross the finish the line, even for those who weren't take the class with us. My mom. My mom exemplos, she is seated down somewhere in this room and she made it for me. She doesn't speak English, and she was in Rome. This weekend, I went there to pick her up, and this, I think, is the grace of the life. We are not here alone. They are here for us. <clears throat> I will tell you why she made it with me. Today, there is a proverb, in Portuguese we say, quem tem boca vai a Roma. <laughs> Which, when literally translated, whoever has a mouth goes home. Rome, sorry. It's an old expression with some authenticity, with a meaning which values hard work individuals who are not afraid to ask for help. If one keeps asking, he or she will eventually find the way. So I think everybody here found the way. 
After all, individuals who inquire and investigate may go everywhere they like. However, we Brazilians must state wrongly that the correct translation of proverb supposed to be whoever has a mouth bulls rum. So, but I think our ways, the Brazilian ways, is more positive, and I will keep this positive way. My mom was scared, but she has challenged herself, faced her fears to get lost, and here she is. She made it with me and for me. Four days ago, my boyfriend John and I were in Rome, waiting for her, and here we are. And I believe some of the guests here today went through the same fears and concern, and here all you are. I want to thank you, to thank with loud around applause, firstly to God, to who believes in God, is my case. To my mom, I want to remind you that you are my everything, I love you so much and thank you for everything. Mãe, a senhora é tudo para mim. I love you. Also, I would like to thank my beautiful boyfriend, John, who brings joy to my life. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you ourselves, of course, for not giving up, and we have made it. Applause to our families and friends, to thank the, our classmates that were our ears and support each other, because even with online class, some of us had the opportunity to build friendship. To thank the lecturers and staff members of the Independent College who made efforts to deliver the hybrid classes. Thank you very much. Applause to all our family members that God called to be close to them, to him, sorry. My dad, Odessa da Silva, unfortunately he is not here because he's close to God today. Take away our chance to celebrate this, this moment together. And finally, thank all those who were with us and believed in us even when we had already discredited ourselves, such as therapists, psychologists, <laughs> psychiatrists, partners, and why not our pets, plants. So thank you very much, guys. Jonas. Our second speaker is a graduate from our BA Business Studies program. This student was elected as a class editor and she poured her heart and soul into everything she did. And even though some days were tougher than others, she powered through and always came out on top. An excellent representative for her class and she always made sure the student's voice was heard in everything she did. A team player and a pleasure to work with over the last several years. Please welcome to the stage, Chris Laney. Ooh. Thank you everybody for the opportunity to be here. Um, I wish my family was here, but they're not, but they're watching online. So I want to say in Portuguese to my parents, Mãe, Pai, isso aqui é para vocês, eu amo vocês. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, gathered here in this memorable day for the Independent College Dublin graduation. My name is Crislaine Silva, and it was great pleasure and honor that I'm here today representing the undergraduate cohort for this ceremony. I would like to thank you all friends and family who made the effort to be here and celebrate this great achievement of us. 
We would not have gotten here today without your support, and this diploma we hold today is dedicated to you all. Many of us could not have our loved ones present here today. We think especially for those who have lost loved ones throughout their studies, and those families who are far away from Ireland. We are certain that wherever they are, they are very proud of us. This graduation may be the first or not first for many of us. Being a foreign student in a country where the language is not our native tongue has its limitations and challenges. They have brought us moments that we, we thought we could not continue. But we are resilient and we can look back today and be proud for not giving up on the decision to leave our home with only two suitcases of belongings and a heart full of hopes and courage. Well done, my friends. <laughs> Throughout these three years, we have learned and developed many aspects in our academic journey. We all believed we knew English until we were required our first assignment with 2,000 words. <laughs> <laughs> All of us remember thinking, where are we going to find out these words to write down in English? <laughs> exactly. And the worst was yet to come with our first presentation <laughs> to talk about ourselves. And it was terrifying, quite funny for being neighbors, like I'm here now. <laughs> but we got it. We eventually learned it. And it got us prepared to finish on our own the applied project for conclusion. Which, by the way, thank you, Mr. Daniel Sullivan and Josh Joyce, for our support. <laughs> for all their support and patience with us. A lot of, a lot of patience. <laughs> Within all the challenges, be a student while working is hard to conciliate. Many of us have to work in two jobs to be able to cover bills, groceries, and college fees. Many nights we can remember going to bed late or lacking sleep because of the assignment due. Headaches. Or those times where we could not meet our friends or family in participate in important events that unfortunately we have to miss for being so far away from home. Well, nobody has said it would be easy. We cannot leave it behind the biggest challenge we all as a human being face during the COVID-19 pandemic. Be apart from social life and our loved ones was absolutely difficult. However, having to adapt to online classes and manage to deliver the best outcome driven by our own initiative has demanded a lot of self-motivation, resilience, and discipline. So again, well done, guys. We got it. <laughs> there are many teachers that we could only have the opportunity to see through Zoom meetings, never face to face. Our biggest thank you for your dedication and for every class giving your best to energize and make it dynamic as possible. Learning is a constant process. In this journey, we also learn how to act with democracy, with respect for others' opinions, especially when they don't really agree with each other. All this has developed our abilities to work in team and have more empathy for others, which is one of the secrets to have good relationships in life. Some of the good relationships we have created in college will bring us a touch for lifetimes. We all created friends that were essential for our well-being and mental health, and of course, for the college work. Thank you, my friends, especially my friends from the Bololo. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, sorry. Thank you, our amazing tutor, which is a teacher today, Lucas Correa. <laughs> what would it be of us without your finance classes help with accounting? <laughs> Being a teacher is a blessing and an admire job. We are very lucky to have the opportunity to learn with these amazing teachers. We remember the first time we had to calculate the balance sheet in finance. 
<laughs> and we thought we cannot do it. All the nights dreaming about apples and bananas, <laughs> discussed in principles of economics. All the times having to remember our managerial theories. So thank you, all the teachers, for believing in us. Today we conclude the undergraduate academic life. However, this is, the only this is only the beginning for an amazing journey. Many of us already got a job in the field. Congratulations to you guys. <laughs> for the ones still applying, keep trying. What is yours won't pass by. There are others that are already thinking about continuing these studies with postgraduate courses. And I say to you, go for it. As my father always used to say to me, you can get taken out anything but your knowledge, only you can have it. Nelson Mandela also quoted, education is the most powerful weapon which one can use to change the world. We are the future, guys. And my advice to you, do not be afraid to start all over again if you need. Be out of your comfort zone. The most achievements come with struggle and difficulties. Be humble and patient. All things that they could become before they become easy. Do not be afraid of making mistakes because mistakes are essential for our learning process. Now go and conquer your dreams. Never stop believing in them. And to conclude, I leave the quote by Anthony Robbins. The only impossible journey is the one you never begin. Thank you all. Thank you, Christiani. Finally, I now call upon the Dean of Independent College, Mr. Mark Byrne, to give our closing speech. Thanks, Neve. <coughs> Welcome, graduates, colleagues, family, and friends. Congratulations to you all. Uh, graduations are important. When I finished my last master's, I called my parents to say I'd passed everything. They weren't quite sure what I'd been studying, but immediately my dad asked me when was graduation. I'd like to begin by thanking all the families and friends in the audience today, like the mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, in-laws, work friends, and best friends in the audience. I share in your pride at the accomplishments of our graduating students, your delight at being a part of the celebration, and your joy at the prospects that lie ahead. At the same time, I share in the gratitude that I know graduating students feel towards all of you. For that reason, I'd like to ask all the graduates to stand, turn, and give a round of applause to those who helped you on this journey here present and those further afield. I would also like to thank all the staff who've helped, who've worked tirelessly throughout your studies to help all of us who have worked especially hard to make graduation special for you all. They are the heart and soul of the college as committed to our mission of improving the college as anyone and they deserve a huge round of applause. <laughs> Last but not least, I would like to thank the faculty they have been colleagues, co-workers, mentors and friends to students and each other, including me. A lot has happened during your time here. If you're graduating from a BA Honours programme, in just your first year we experienced COVID, Trump impeachment charges brought to Senate, the UK left the EU, the current coalition in the Irish Parliament was formed. In just the last 12 months, Ireland finished second to France in the Six Nations, and Leinster lost to La Rochelle in the European Cup final. We won't mention Munster. Uh, the bosses won't be happy about that. 
and, and there's one in the audience I can see from here, it's peering at me. We mourn the loss of the great Desmond Tuhu and more, most recently, more recently, sorry, Vicky Phelan. The continuing conflict in Europe with Ukraine uh, taking back territory. Hybrid work seems to be here to stay with people changing roles rather than returning to an office-based job. And Queen Elizabeth's funeral was the most watched TV event in history with 4.1 billion viewers. Many of you, like me, may be trying to reconcile how much happened during your studies at the college, whether they be long or short, how much you saw, learned, experienced and changed, with the feeling that you only began your journey yesterday. I'd like to take a moment to offer a little advice, if I may. I know you felt very busy while here as a student, and since your final day in class and assessment, you will likely have discovered that you have even less time than you had at college. <clears throat> There will be less time for late night chats with classmates, for lingering over coffee or attending a lecture or a talk. There will be less time for exercise or dinners. And time's velocity will only increase. Each year will go faster than the one before and the next faster than the one before that. And then you'll be old, like me. <laughs> I used to look like Lucas 25 years ago. <laughs> the hair wasn't quite as long. And I haven't shrunk too much. I've, in fact, I've expanded. <laughs> this is not meant to depress you, but to get you thinking now that you need to master time or it will master you. To get you thinking, what should I do with my time? Who do I want to be? How do I want to be? So here's how I suggest you use your time to your advantage. You need to take time, you need to steal time, you, need, you must not waste time, and lastly, you need to cherish time, you need to make time. You also need to make time for your friends and family. Call your parents. Call your brothers, call your sisters, email them, Twitter them, Snapchat, Instagram, text, Facebook, friend them, send them pictures, visit them if you can. If or when you have children, make time for them. And I know a few students have got, brought their children with them, which is lovely. You can't be a good parent in daily increments of 30 or 60 minutes and time at home while your children are sleeping doesn't count. So I've learned. Make enough time for them that they seem bored by you. They never will be, but they should still be your goal. Make time to keep up with your friends. Try not to miss weddings or funerals. Both matter. You can and should carry your friends and family wherever you go. If you are nervous about a meeting with your boss or your colleagues, imagine yourself telling a friend about it. Imagine your friend in the meeting with you, someone who might appreciate the humor in the situation. Don't actually talk to your imaginary friend during the meeting strong piece of advice. <laughs> In addition to making time, you should take time. Take time to learn something new. Take time to develop a hobby or two or three. In fact, take time to be, become passionate about something completely unrelated to your work. Take time to exercise. Take time to travel someplace you've never been and perhaps most importantly, take time to be kind. You've all come from across the globe and will spread to all corners of the world. You need to take time and be kind on a daily basis. That means paying attention to those around you who are in need, noticing who's having a hard day or time, remembering who has a birthday, taking time to buy a gift or send a card, or send an email to celebrate someone else's success or milestone. Taking time to ask your colleagues, not just are, are, are you okay, but really, are you okay? You are sometimes going to feel too rushed to lend a hand to someone who cannot in, her, in, in turn help you. Resist that impulse and take that time. Surveys and studies show that one of the things that consistently make people happy is doing something kind for others. So if you think about it, it's actually in your self-interest to be kind. Every now and then you need to steal time, play hooky. My boss doesn't want to hear this. <laughs> Check out whether it's for an afternoon or a day or a weekend and see if they can catch you. Drop your responsibilities, be spontaneous, or do something unexpected. So we've covered making and stealing time, two more to go. The next is don't waste time. By this, I don't mean be efficient with your time or exhibit good time management skills, though both are important. What I mean chiefly is don't waste time being afraid. I can't think of a larger obstacle to happiness or success than fear. We all face fears, large and small, every day. You need to get rid of them, or should I say overcome them. You've already or will 
get to feel a lot of pressure to conform, whether in your workplace or in your neighborhood or raising your kids or in creating your own relationships. Don't be afraid to do what you think is right and to do what you think is fun, to do what you, might, you think might work. Have the courage to disagree or say no, but at the same time, don't be afraid to search for common ground, which sometimes requires more courage than simply voicing disagreement. Have the courage to do something that hasn't been tried before or to do something that might be a total flop. Don't be afraid, in other words, to stumble or even fail. Happiness is risks to reward. The only rewards of fear are boredom and bitterness. My last piece of advice, cherish time. You need to embrace your life now, tomorrow and the next day. You are living it. It might seem to many of you that you've put your life on hold while studying at the college, but that's not entirely true. You've also been living your life. The time you spent here cannot be reclaimed. Some of you might also think that you're, going, that you're going to a job or that you're in a job that will prepare you for a job that you will eventually love so that the next few years are in some way just preparation for your real job when you'll start your real life. I caution you not to think that way because you're postponing your life. Now's the time to stop preparing to start living. You should love your job and even if you don't love your job, you can still love life. How? By making, taking, stealing and not wasting time. And if you can't love your life because you don't love your job, that's when you have to summon the courage to try something new. Good luck. Thank you very much to our Dean. This concludes the meeting for the purpose of conferring of academic awards on our students of our college. This is not goodbye, this is see you later. We can't wait to watch you all progress onto the next step of your career. My best wishes and thanks to you all for being with us here today. Please now stand for the academic procession. You're wondering what I'm going to say next. <laughs> uh, I can see people asking me to flip the hats in the air and all that. That's fine, but first of all, I want to get your photographs taken for your classes. So I want to explain all that, and then you can throw all your hats into the air, okay? Um, so graduates, first of all, please remain in your seats until your class is called for a group photo. Um, this will be taken with your academic staff, okay? The photo will be taken at the back of the hallway, just in front of all your guests. So I will have to unfortunately ask the guests to make their way out of the, of the backstage, either into the foyer or around the area, if that's OK. Uh, the, first, um, the first photographs to be taken is going to be our professional courses. So uh, pensions management, can you please make your way down to the back? Core business functions next, Leticia. Silex, Dilex, and then we'll go for the master programs, BAM, BAF, BABS, okay? Do you want me to give you the countdown? <laughs> okay, well done, one last time. Congratulations, everyone. One, two, three, off you go. That was, <laughs> I didn't even do it. Okay, guys, can you face the graduates, just face this way before, because I want to get a video of you throwing your hats. Are we all ready? Graduates? Graduates, I'm going to count you down. 
Now, now get your hat back because you need it for the pictures. <laughs> <laughs>